What's up? Hi, I'm here with Roger Buhain of Mexipino Craft. Good morning, Roger. How are you? Good. I'm doing good. Thank you. Well, thank you for having us here in your restaurant. Um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what Mexipino means to you? Uh, well, m me being half Mexican, half Filipino, that's uh, that's kind of why we call it Mexipino. And uh, the craft incorporating and the craft of the food. Even though we were originally going to do uh, craft beers, but um, that was just going to take too long. So we just decided to do a crafty breakfast. But maybe in the near future we'll be uh, opening for uh, later hours to do uh, some type of appetizer or dinner. So what are some of your uh, most popular dishes here? I can tell you what they already are. Um, our Mexipino hash plate it was a potato hash with ube, uh, longanisa, ham, bacon, uh, two eggs on top of that. Um, that's our popular one. Uh, the other po popular is our um, adobo fried chicken and waffle. And the other one would be our Mexipino breakfast sandwich. And what's in that? And that one we have spam, chorizo, uh, smoked beef, um, an egg, and avocado in a, in a Mexican sweet concha bread with mm. some french fries. What's your personal favorite Mexipino breakfast? Oh gosh, I, you know what, I'm, I'm the traditional guy. I like rice, eggs, some ketchup, and any protein, spam, or, or longanisa, or anything, even Mexican meat <laughs> with the rice. I eat everything with rice. It's genetically in me. Okay, um, any concepts for new dishes that we might be seeing on the menu yeah. soon? So, um, we already did the, uh, we're doing some Mexican lumpias, the two Mexican ones that we know that are coming out are the chorizo lumpia and the lomo lumpia, which is a, our braised pork. Uh, with our um, Mexipino vinaigrette, which is uh, a membrillo. It's called the uh, Ate de Membrillo. It's uh, like a sweet paste with uh, calimansi. Awesome. So that'll be our dipping our dipping sauce for our lupus. We already tried it and it's really good. So we're pretty excited for everybody else to try it. And how long have you been open now? We open June, we open June 2nd. June 2nd, okay, so, so it hasn't been very long. Three months and, and a half, I would say. A little over three and a half months. And you're really familiar with this area, correct? Correct. So you grew up around here? Or? Yeah, I grew up a little, a little bit everywhere. Uh, Southeast San Diego, South San Diego, I got family, all. Uh, I got a pretty large family in San Diego. So I'm a little bit everywhere, national city, whatnot. And since you are mestizo or half half, is there one particular side that you identify more with or? You know what, the majority of people tell me I don't look Filipino, but I'm proud of being both Mexican and Filipino. So, I, I, you know, I blend in with anybody. I love both cultures. And what do you think is a common thread of both? A common thread as far as? Um, anything cultural or with the food? Language, uh, being humble. Mm. Um, I think I think those are like and the and the food both great food both the, the world of two great foods. Awesome. So, what would you like to tell anybody about Mexipino? What hours are you open? Seven days a week. So we're open. We are open seven days a week. We're open from seven to three. We have uh, brunch hours, um, and we're gonna try to do seasonal items to not make it so boring for everybody and get used to everything. So. And every season will be coming up, like winter, I think we'll be doing some soups, something, some fusion soups that we have in the works right now. Actually, today we're going to be uh, testing them out, but uh, we'll be doing uh, different things seasonally. Okay, well, everybody come down to Mexipino Craft, and thank you so much for giving me some of your time, Roger. Yeah, thank you. Okay.